I took a picture of my cheating wife and her co-worker in the act and sent it to their boss and her co-worker's wife and parents. My soon-to-be ex-wife, Anna, had been acting suspicious for a while, and I finally found out the truth. Yeah, she's been cheating on me with a co-worker, Don. I know, it's a cliché, but trust me, it gets better. So, about a month ago, I started noticing her spending more time at work than usual. She'd come home late and just head straight to bed, barely even acknowledging me. I tried talking to her about it, but she'd always say that she was just super busy with some project or another. One night, I was having trouble sleeping and decided to grab her phone to browse some memes I know. Bad idea, but it was sitting right there. When I unlocked it, I saw a message thread with Don, and their conversation wasn't exactly work-related, if you know what I mean. I was devastated, but I wasn't about to let them get away with it. I needed revenge, and I needed proof. So, I started doing some digging. Turned out, they had plans to meet at a hotel right next to their workplace for a lunch break rendezvous. Bingo. On the day of their little meeting, I pretended to go to work as usual. But instead, I parked my car a couple of blocks away from the hotel and waited. Sure enough, I spotted Anna and Don walking into the hotel together. I don't know why I was still surprised, but I guess seeing it in person made it feel real. I slipped into the hotel lobby after them, nodded to the girl behind the desk, and followed far enough behind them to see which room they entered. Room 114. I made my way back and approached the front desk where, luckily, someone else was standing at the counter. I put on my best panicked face and told the guy that I had left my wallet in room 114 and my wife was going to kill me. He looked concerned and without hesitation gave me a spare key. He didn't even look to see if someone else had checked in. I walked down the hall and then waited a few minutes to make sure they'd settled in, then made my way to their room. I could hear muffled voices and laughter coming from inside. My heart was pounding in my chest, but I knew I had to go through with it. I took a deep breath, slid the key into the lock, and swung the door open. The scene before me was exactly what I expected, but that didn't make it any easier. Anna and Don, tangled up in bed together, looked up in shock. I don't think I'll ever forget the expression on their faces when they realized they'd been caught. Before they could even react, I whipped out my phone and started taking pictures. They scrambled to cover themselves, but it was too late. I had the proof I needed. The more they tried to hide, the more pictures I snapped. It was honestly pretty satisfying. As soon as I was sure I had enough evidence, I sent the pictures to their boss, Don's wife, and even his parents. If they wanted to act like trash, I was going to make sure everyone knew about it. As I hit send, I shouted, you're both going to pay for this. Anna started crying, begging me to forgive her, saying it was a mistake. But the damage was done. I stormed out of the room, leaving them in their shame. The next day, I filed for divorce. I wasn't going to let Anna make a fool of me any longer. It turns out, the pictures I sent had quite an impact. Their boss fired both Anna and Don, and Don's wife was livid. I mean, I can't blame her. I'd be furious too if I were in her shoes. Don's parents were embarrassed and ashamed of their son, and they reached out to apologize to me. They had no idea what their son had been up to, and they were genuinely sorry. Words spread like wildfire around their workplace, and their reputations were pretty much destroyed. I can't say I feel bad for them. They made their choices, and they had to face the consequences. Don's wife ended up divorcing him, and she and I had several conversations on the phone as we pieced the whole story together. This had been going on for months, and neither of us had seen it due to the blind trust we had with our spouses. So what's the moral here? Start paying attention early so you don't waste a bunch of time in a relationship that has already ended. Get out and move on. Greener grass awaits you. How do you think he handled the situation? What would you have done? Let us know what you think in the comments below. When you subscribe, be sure to click the notification bell. Click here for more Tangled Threats.